And here we are. Out of prison, soap in hand. And just we're gonna stand there for a second, I guess. Yeah. Standing around, twiddling our thumbs. At least we avoided prison rape in the shower. Continuing onward through the dungeon. Well, the dungeon is um, basically more or less done. Uh, yeah, we've beaten the boss. Uh, what really is left at this point? Another boss is what's left. Huh. Was not expecting. Hey, I know you just fought a boss, but do you want to fight another one? Hope you saved. It's a guy consisting of three heads. I... Um, hmm. And his name is Shazam. Um... That's some extreme acupuncture. And you just default back to the usual strategy of Magnum Fang and Twin Orbs until I run out of Twin Orb ammo. Yeah, I mean, if it ain't broke. And then the boss was like, you're dead. Hmm. Well, that could potentially be a setback. Exactly what it says on the tin. It was, in fact, a fatal blow. Well played. Shazam, well played. Like, hey, but what if you just died instantly? Hey, generic harp music. And Cecilia was like, eat it, bitch! By the light of Jesus. The power of Jesus compels you. So it's like a lion man with three heads. That's kind of what I was getting from this. I, hmm, I see. The curse of the triple lion men. Oh god, damn it. What was I, what was I even doing? I don't know, what the fuck were you doing? Oh, right, I was switching rings. Since uh, that determines what type of damage I think Phaser Zap does. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, you actually have to switch accessories to make make that work how you want it to. An uncommon mechanic. I was just assuming that holy damage did more, but... Yeah, but hey, what if you died again? But not this time. Chance for instant death. There's a couple of bosses that have that attack. Not always called Fatal Blow, so if it happens, you're just like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just die. Dude. Greatest options, go! <laughs> okay. And me, I will also perish. Right about now. Alas, I am dead. Hard guard. Something, something euphemistic comment. It's a door, you don't jump in through a door. Well, I don't know. They got out of the out of the dimensional gap, so it doesn't seem too far fetched that Siegfried got out of it too. Well, we'll show you. Anti-life equation, if you will. Not the emu periods. 
how did we determine that that was meant to be pronounced? Uh, Elu, I think. We'll no, use a, 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 a. We'll use the power of the ray lines hmm. and the emu periods. I saw it on IRC the other day. It's like I think it was Elu. Elu, uh, whatever. A woman gives birth. Yes. I don't quite understand the leap in logic there. Like not entirely. I mean, I guess in a way it makes sense. <laughs> Bleh. I like how it fired in like a fan formation, except they all landed on the fucking planet. Ground quaking, earth shaking. It's all coming apart at the seams. And just at, at every point in this game where you think things couldn't really get any worse, it surprises you. Like surprise, natural disasters, though. It's like what happens when Kratos starts killing gods. It's like escalation is all over the place. <laughs> I would not be terribly comfortable with that. Obviously not. Like, ew. Reminds me of one of those disaster movies I can't remember the name of. Uh, are they just wasn't one of them called Disaster Movie? I think there was a parody called Disaster Movie. <laughs> Jack with the ultimate plan: hit that thing with your sword. Perseverance pays off. Jack just likes to do it. I guess. Yada yada yada. <laughs> Who is she really? Elmina, Jack's dead girlfriend. Quote unquote. I like how ho ho casually is about it. It's like, okay, well, that guess that didn't work. <laughs> it wasn't a failure. Technically, it was working. The Kadingaling. Uh. The legendary evil tower of Kadingaling. The heavenly power of Kadingaling. Meanwhile, Zigfried's just like, wait, what? what? I wasn't done talking yet. Fucking scene transitions. What are they going to do? Unite us? We were gonna make out until you showed up. Fucking ruining the mood here, man. Goddamn Killjoy. Cold bird the Killjoy. Fucking 
cock blocking son of a bitch. I like how there's clearly the arms box back there. So for some reason in this ancient kingdom there's just a box with an arm in it. But I suppose since nobody but Rudy and select other people can use them they just left it there. Like, what are they gonna do? Uh, steal it? Also, there, there's the origin of Jack's name, except they mistranslated his name. Sword Princess. Jack the not actually knighted yet. Shut up. Supposed to be Van Brace, but you know. Granted, it ultimately it turns out that Van Brew sounds much better. Yeah, Van Brace is kind of a, an interesting name. I'll guard you, I'll guard her, I'll guard everybody. Meanwhile, Colbert's like, ah, uh, not yet, you're not. You still have to go to that knighting ceremony that you're skipping. So Jack's real name is Garrett? Yep. Garrett Van Buris. Well, I think that's the Van, the Van Buris is just his title. That he opted to use as a last name. It works better as a last name, honestly. Especially when you mistranslate it. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Because you weren't important before, you fucker. Except, well, in this case, really, Jack is more of the, uh, more of the sword, sword princess, rather than the sword guard. Rudy is more of the, uh, the, the sword guard, considering he has higher defense than Jack does. What with being made of fucking metal and all? I forgot the true nature of my sword. To cut bitches. Don't you mean use your sword to protect people? Yeah, by cutting bitches. Also, yay, the town is fine again. My hands of steel is a tool of justice. Folded over a thousand times. Something, something. Jack is back! Glorious Nippon steel. Next time on Radical Bromance, more, more glorious Nippon steel, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? That works. <laughs>